Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out Aura Pup, which is a dog breath brush. Now this is to remove bad breath from your dog. Now the reason I got this was, I don't know about you guys, but Cooper for example, I mean he's always on the farm eating things he shouldn't. Um, you know there's nothing worse than turning around and seeing your dog eat cow manure. You know it certainly doesn't help out uh, the good breath situation, that's for sure. So anyhow I thought well I'll get this product and, uh, and see what it's like and I got it here just came in today so I thought I'll quickly do a review of it for you guys especially those of you out there that really like my dog videos and uh, you can have a look at it um, up close and in person and then you know if it works because I've never used this before then uh, perhaps you might like to order one for your dog so how does it work let's run through a few features it just comes in the packet here all right it's just got a bit of information on the back there's four uh, built-in scrapers uh, okay, that are actually on the Aura Pup. Now, what they actually do is uh, they actually collect and remove the bacteria and residue from your dog's tongue. Okay, and then you've got these fine bristles. I'll just put on its side so you can see. So they really get into the crevices of the dog's tongue. The shape of it too, like it's on a curve here, and they've designed it particularly that way so you can hold it, and then the dog's tongue can extend fully all the way up the brush. Obviously, the brush by itself, the dog isn't going to be too interested in it. Maybe if you've got a uh, dog that likes to chew, he might chew up the handle or something. So this is where the Aura Pup Lickies, as they call it, comes into uh, play. Now, these uh, Lickies just come in different uh, flavours. I've got this one here in Beef and Bacon because I thought, well, you know, Cooper would really go for that. And what it does, it's got basically an anti-plaque uh, product in it. And uh, it, it just helps uh, fight the bad breath of the dog, okay? So it's not basically, this isn't what's going to do it. It's not like a breath freshener that you're just going to put it on your dog's tongue and it's just going to be instantly better. You actually have to put it here on the brush. And then the reason for it is obviously your dog's going to lick the brush because it's going to try to lick the uh, Licky's product from the brush. And then in turn, it's going to clean the dog's tongue. So all they say is uh, to put a bit on the brush there and let the dog lick it for uh, a minimum of about a minute and uh, hopefully that'll cure the uh, bad breath. But anyhow, what I wanted to do just before we go out and use this is I wanted to show it to you up close and uh, in person so you can see exactly what it's like and um, a few features of it. So let's get out now. I'll uh, get Cooper wherever he is. He'll be lying around here somewhere and um, we'll give him a go with this and see how he likes it. All right, so I've got Coop here. I'll just put a bit of this uh, Lickies on. Now it's just sort of like gravy, really. Uh, we'll just put a bit over the actual brush. Just put it zigzag. Doesn't have to be too much on, as you can see there. Cooper, come back, come back here. Come, sit, sit. Good boy. Yeah, you can see him starting to really get into it there now. So the full extension of the tongue, and that's what we want. You're really enjoying that, aren't you? Hey, eh? just trying to bite it a little bit. really feel the resistance against his tongue here. He's really putting quite a bit of effort into it. No, don't bite it. I say when we're finished with this too, just to actually just rinse it in water um, and just make sure it's clean from there. So, but he's really pushing at that. He really wants to get to it. So, it's true what they say about the lickies is irresistible to dogs. I mean, he's really trying to get that. No, don't bite. <laughs> he never follows things by the book. <laughs> I'm here. Now 
And as you can see on the Aura Pup, you can still see um, the lickies actually in there between the bristles. So it just sits in there and obviously he's going to get a little bit of it on his tongue. But um, he's <laughs> really trying to get into it. So when they start biting like that, maybe it's a good sign that they've got most of it off the surface. Now you can actually use more if their dog does have really bad breath. But I'll just see how what his breath smells like. Yeah, it just smells a little bit like the actual beef and bacon, but that real just potent, disgusting smell is gone. So it seems to work. I'll see how he is after he uh, drinks some water, but overall, look, it does exactly what it's advertised to do. So, okay, so we'll just clean the aura pup. Just run some water over it. Just takes that bit of residue and everything off from the dog licking it. And the Aura Pup itself is only $20 US. And the Lickies, they come in different varieties. Uh, they're only uh, $9.99, so $10 US each. And uh, shipping out to here to Australia well, it wasn't much at all. I think it was about $15 from memory. Um, and will take roughly about uh, three weeks around there. So look guys, it absolutely works. So, um, you know, if your dog actually has bad breath and you want to cure him or her of it, why don't you give this a try? I'll put the link to the website underneath the description on this uh, review for you to check out in your own time. All right guys, till next time, take care and we'll catch you then.